Hi all, in this video we will discuss algorithm which follows both inductive and analytical learning process. In the case of inductive learning process, we require training data to train the system. In the case of analytical learning, we require prior knowledge and observed training data to train the system. Inductive methods such as decision tree induction and neural network back propagation seek general hypotheses that fit the training data. In these methods, we observe theoretical bounds on the accuracy of the system. In inductive methods, we considered complete training data. In the case of analytical methods such as Prolog EBG, seek general hypotheses that fit prior knowledge while covering the observed data. In analytical methods, we have not found any theoretical bounds. Yes, we are following, we are using training data to train the system in the case of inductical methods it gives statistical justification but in the case of analytical methods we are using prior knowledge with the observed data these methods gives logistic justification these are the differences between inductive learning and analytical learning. Regarding goal, in the case of inductive learning, the hypothesis which we are developing fits data. In the case of analytical learning, the hypothesis fits domain theory. Regarding justification, in the case of inductive learning, the methods provide statistical justification. In the case of analytical learning, methods provide logical justification. Advantages in inductive learning are it requires little prior knowledge. Advantages in analytical learning is learns from scarce data pitfalls in inductive learning are scarce data and incorrect bias. Pitfalls in analytical learning is imperfect domain theory. In the case of inductive learning, if we provide insufficient data or data with errors, the system which we are developing gives poor results. In the case of analytical learning, if we provide prior knowledge with errors, then the system which we are developing gives poor results. Here we combine these two approaches to learn a new algorithm. In pure inductive algorithms, if we provide errors in the training data, that leads to improper design of the system. Similarly, in pure analytical learning algorithms, if we give errors in prior knowledge, that leads to improper design of the system. To overcome those we are using, we are combining these two approaches. In these type of systems, what are the inputs we have to provide and what are the expected output? Inputs are, first one is a set of training data. That data possibly may contain errors. Second one is a domain theory, which is prior knowledge. That one also may contain errors. A space of candidate hypothesis H. By using these inputs, we can get the following output, that is, a hypothesis that best fits 
the training examples and domain theory. While developing these algorithms, mainly we have to concentrate the errors which are present in training data as well as in uh, prior knowledge have to be considered and those are to be reduced. How to combine these two learning techniques remains a open question in machine learning. Here we explore three different methods for using prior knowledge to alter the sets performed purely inductive methods. First one is use prior knowledge to derive an initial hypothesis from which to begin the search. Example for that one is knowledge based artificial neural network. Second one is use prior knowledge to alter the objective of the hypothesis space search. Examples for that one is tangent prop and EBNN. Third one is use prior knowledge to alter the available search steps. Knowledge based artificial neural network uses prior knowledge to design interconnections and weights in initial network. After that, it uses pure inductive method back propagation on the designed initial network to adjust the weights and to get a complete design. To discuss this algorithm, we'll use an example that one is to identify a cup. So to take this one, first what is the domain theory is required and what are the training examples are required. The domain theory is uh, the cup is to be stable on the table and uh, that is to be liftable and uh, that is uh, open vessel. How can you say that is stable one? If its bottom is flat, uh, you can place on a table. Then liftable. So if it is light and graspable, then we can take uh, that cup is a liftable. Graspable means if it has handle, you can easily lift that particular cup. Open vessel has conca concavity and uh, concavity points up. So these are the different training examples. So what is the expense of that one is bottom is flat or not, has concavity or not, has handle or not. Like this, uh, we can take domain theory and training examples. By using prayer knowledge or domain theory, first we are designing initial network. So main target for this one is, target concept for this one is uh, identify a cup. So that cup has to follow three properties. Those are stable, liftable and open vessel. So to declare that one is stable, what is mainly required? So if its bottom is flat, then that cup is, we can place that cup on the table. So we are representing, we are taking that one with thick line and remaining with uh, light line, dotted lines. So, more weight value we are providing to this uh, bottom is flat. Similarly, for uh, liftable. So, liftable case, two things to be satisfied. One is light, second one is has graspable. So, has handle. If it is ha has handle, then that is graspable. So for open vessel, has a concavity so, and a concavity points up. So the points 
the instances which have more effect on this one those things we are representing in thick lines and remaining we are representing in uh, dotted lines or thin lines how to assign weights here the line which is thick one for that we can assign a large positive weight so those are mainly required to get the properties of that particular cup so those are bottom is flat has handle light has concavity and concavity points up here one more thing is there dotted thick line so that is handle on top in that case okay, if it has handle on top it is not possible to take t by using that cup so for this type this one is irrelevant to this particular topic so for that instance we are giving a large negative weight and for remaining things we are giving negligible weights here is the knowledge based artificial neural network algorithm to this algorithm we have to provide two inputs one is domain theory or prior knowledge second one is training data first in this algorithm we have to perform analytical step that is by using prior knowledge we are constructing initial network the initial network contains interconnections and weights how to assign the weights so here for each non negated antecedent of the class assign positive weight that means the instance which has more effect on the target output to that we are assigning more weightage positive weightage so these corresponding to the sigmoid unit input for negated antecedent of the class we have to assign minus w that is a negative weight so which has least effect or negligible effect on the target concept next set the threshold weight w0 for each for this unit to minus n minus 0.5 w where n is the number of non negated antecedents to the class for that we have to add additional connections among the network units connecting each network unit at depth i from the input layer to all network units at depth i plus 1 so that is i depth that is first level so input to thing we are providing then next level i plus 1 we are taking uh, hidden units like this from all these you are providing the inputs like this okay. and the inputs which has more effect on the target output for those things we are assigning positive weights the inputs which has very less effect or negligible effect we are assigning negative effects so here assign random non zero weights to these additional connections after developing this initial network by using prior knowledge we have to apply inductive step that is applying original back propagation algorithm to adjust the weights which you already assigned to fit the training examples so that is a knowledge based artificial neural network algorithm in this algorithm first you have to apply analytical step 
then you have to apply inductive step. These are the limitations of knowledge based artificial neural network. It accommodates only propositional domain theories. Collections of variable free horn classes. There is a possibility of misled by highly inaccurate domain theories so that its generalization accuracy can deteriorate below the level of back propagation algorithm. Thank you.